Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to show you how to make this um, window flower box die. Um, I've made it a Mother's Day card, but you could make it into a um, birthday card just as easily. Uh, this is one of my class by post projects for March. Um, so I've just used the dies in this, but there is a um, coordinating stamp set called Welcoming Window, which is just gorgeous as well. And that's where I got the original Mother's Day stamp from. Um, but for my um, class attendees who, who have the class by post, um, they can use whatever they have at home here to pop in this. So I give them a little um, cut out, a little punch out here. Um, but we're not allowed to include stamped images in our projects that we send um, in kit form. So use whatever you have at home. So let's go ahead and show you the supplies that you need to make this card. So I've got them all here. This is how my kits go out in a little um, solo bag. I'm just turning my notes over to get the measurements. So we don't need the envelope in this one. So I'm using um, a base of Seaside Spray. Now that's um, going to be uh, retiring in um, in June, beginning, oh sorry, end of, um, end of May really. Um, it's one of the um, in colors that that's been around for two years so this will be retiring this is probably my favorite out of those in colors um so yeah so i wanted to use this up so i've cut a card base in seaside spray and then i've got a layer of basic white cardstock and with my favorite favorite um, embossing folder um i've embossed this um to make it look a little bit like um brickwork on a house um, I'm just checking the name of it. It is called Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. Um, I've used it on quite a few of my projects, but I really liked it because I thought instead of the traditional brick house, this was kind of more like a Mediterranean house. So I liked the look of that. Um, and then the other um, colours you'll need here, I've cut these pieces out here, the, um, the shutters in Sahara Sand, also the window, and the sh the um i was gonna say the shelf what is it uh, a window ledge and a flower pot i put the little flower pot here in seaside spray and i've actually used well written uh dies here um these are great because you get loads of words in here but you also get these which i thought were really pretty and some of the little flowers here um, and that's what I've used on my card here. So we've got a little kind of vine coming in here and then the, the flowers here. So I've cut two of these in um, granny apple green. These little shutter pieces here I've cut in basic grey. And these are great because in the set um, of the dies here, you can cut four in one go. So that saves a lot of time there, especially if you're cutting you know, lots of kits. And then the little flowers here I've done in uh, Magenta Madness, Daffodil Delight and Mango Melody. So let's go ahead. It's basically layering up now. Um, but this, yeah, I just thought it made a really lovely Mother's Day card. My sister's actually doing my classes by post now, so I can't give this to my mum because I know she's going to. Um, and luckily my mum's not watching this video before then, so... Um, Hopefully she won't get to see it. Here we go. So you're just going to layer that on the front of your card. And then with this window piece, you need to put it fairly near the top, um, centrally like that, because obviously the um, shutters are going to go either side. So pop some glue on the back of here. Whoops. May have put a little bit too much on the side there. And so that one's going to go up the top here in the center. Whoops, is that straight? Whoa, that's not straight now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's quite late at night. So, um, but I want to get this done because if people are making this for Mother's Day, it's um, actually a week. Well, I'm saying week tomorrow. It's actually a week today now because it's early hours of Sunday morning. So. You know, I wanted to make sure that they would um, get the video in time. So these are going to go either side, the shutters. Um, and I've actually propped them up on a dimensional um, just to give them that kind of effect of, of being lifted. So I'm going to put it down 
more down this middle side side here so you can either if you wanted to use some edge pieces i'm just going to use um let me just see again how i've that's that that's going to go up that way so more so um yeah uh <laughs> i can't think what i'm doing i'm just going to pop them on here um that's what i did with the original card so three on each um on here I know Mother's Day in um, America is a different time of year. Is it just America? It might be in other countries as well. Um, I think it's May, maybe. Um, so you could get ahead of yourself here and make this up. Um, or like I say, it can be a birthday card or an anniversary card. It's such a, a lovely little set. Okay, so those are propped up there, either side. And then we're going to... Um, do the same with the window ledge here. If you don't have mini dimensionals, you can just cut either an edge piece of these. Let's do that. Um, save me trying to find my mini dimensionals on my desk. So I'm just going to come along and cut the edge of these bigger dimensionals here. And actually it's a really good way to, you know, use it all up. So there we go. Oops, bent that up. That's going on underneath the window gosh I bent that one Oops. okay so that's going to sit we're going to leave a, a small gap there underneath but um, not sure how central that is we don't mind so let's go ahead and pop these um, little um, window what are these called hinges for the shutters on so flip them over there is a a small design on one side um so just see which side you're going to pop the glue on and then so you want the sort of less decorative side i kind of lined it up with the center of this pane here and then again with this bottom one I lined it up with the center of the bottom pane there okay and then do the same on the other side is that the right side that one oops is that no that's the side i want i don't think anyone would really spot it but nice to get it right and again um put the a kind of more decorative side um, facing outwards. So this one is going to go in the center of that pane and the same with this one at the bottom. There we go, super cute. Okay, so um, the flower pot, the, um, the Sahara sand one is going to go at the bottom. Um, you may or may not, if you have this in a kit, still have bits of leaves leaves in there. Um, they may come out as I cut them. So um, it's up to you whether you keep any kind of stray ones in. So I've done it so that bottom leaf there tucks under the flower pot like that. So you may want to get that in position um, or you can raise. I put a dimensional under the flower pot. Um, but just bear in mind, if you want to tuck this in a bit, you can either trim it, I guess, or you might want to stick this down first. So I'm going to flip this over. Um, yeah, flip this over and just pop some. Woo, I need to just, because I've had my glue open for too long, it's getting a bit dry and stringy. So it didn't really like going on that one. Let me just get that little dryish bit off here. There we go. I don't like to be left open for too long. Okay, so some glue on the back, that's better. And just find wherever you can some kind of bigger points um, of cotton. Ooh, that took the leaf out. Okay, so I don't have any leaves left there. That's fine. I'll get it off my glue though now. Um, so yeah, any bigger points of contact on here. And if you're not confident, um, just squeezing a little bit of your glue out. Obviously, you don't want to ruin your project just put a you know a little 
pile up here on a piece of scrap card and then just keep dipping it back in. Right, so we're going to position this about there, I think. Now you'll see in my original that these flowers aren't green and we're going to stick my other ones here over the top. So just press that down. Like I say, pop a dimensional or you can stick this down flat, but I just raised it up with a dimensional on the back of the flower pot. And then, like I say, I did it so I covered that bottom um, leaf because it was just kind of poking out a little bit otherwise. And then I popped some of these flowers. Let me just get into the center of this one here. You can imagine cutting all these for my kits. It takes a while. But um, everyone's worth it, and I love that you support my business, especially in these hard times. So I'm very grateful. So I'm very happy to cut these for you. Okay, so just some dots of glue on the back here. Okay, so I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool here just to pick that up. I'm just basically layering it on top of the granny apple green flower that's underneath. But the magenta madness, I love how bright that is um, on top of there. And then I just thought I'd pop another one here, the um, Daffodil Delight. Uh, and because it's got a centre there, you might just need to push it to one side a little bit so that the granny apple green doesn't show under there. Perfect, okay. And then with the pot up here, the little um, seaside spray, I balanced it here on the ledge. So I'm just gonna put some glue under this base here, just at the bottom part of the um, flower pot. So the top isn't glued on at all. So just kind of at the edge of the window and at the edge of the shutter. Um, and actually on this um, top vine here, on the top vine here, I've cut off the flowers from this piece here um, because I just thought I wanted it to be a vine uh, rather than the flowers. So I'm just going to get rid of, uh, where did I do it? I might've just cut down by the leaf here and taken that away there. Okay, so up here, I'm just going to stick this piece here, I'm just going to pop some glue under that piece. There. Not too much holding that on, but it's enough to keep it in place. Obviously, just bear in mind, you need to, that fitting in the envelope as well, so don't put it too high. And then I use um, this flower, I've used to pop a couple of little leaves in here. So how I did this, I stuck down the main flowers first. So I'm going to stick down this um, Mango Melody flower and I'm just gonna put glue on a couple of the petals here because there's not a lot to attach it to on the flower pot. So he, that one's going to kind of float midair slightly. Um, the same with um, this, um, Magenta Madness. So just gauge, you can have a play around before you stick them down to see where you're going to line these up. Um, but I wanted to be able to see all of the flowers, but equally um, um, have the little leaves poking out as well. And then I just need one more little daffodil delight flower, which I've got here. And this one, um, you can probably only put glue on one of the petals because that's just going to attach to these ones here. There we go, it's going to come down a bit further like that. So you could leave, oh, it's far away. Oh, I just disturbed a lot of things on my desk. Um, so he's just going to sit on there. And then with this little flower here, really all I did was just cut a couple of these leaves um, and, you know, you don't have to if you don't want to. You can just um, leave it as it is. But I just, oh, that one's gone flying, so let's choose a different one. 
I just thought as I had them, I would just, you know, use them up. <laughs> these, are, these are going all over the place. Come back. Okay, so <clears throat> a little dot of glue, as always, on the back here. I'm just going to pick that up before it sticks to my finger. And then I just kind of touch this um, there. And the, oops. And then this one. Again, a little dot of glue at the back. I'm going to pop that one there. So you could have it so that you pull this back out, this um, petal, if you want to, and have it over the top. Um, that might look better. Okay, so then finally, like I said, on this one, I put the um, Hope You Have a Wonderful Mother's Day. Um, this time, I'm just going to stamp happy birthday and this is from i love this set um oval occasions so this is a really great set to have particularly for this one but also time to celebrate um a little treat for you really cute things on here so i'm going to stamp in seaside spray now i've cut this um fairly thin piece of card because um the oval punch is a double punch here so i don't want this bit up here I just want this one so I'm just going to stamp down there so that when I come into punch I'm not going to punch too much of that top oval okay that looks about right and then you don't waste too much card and then I'm just going to go around and um with a sponge so this is one of our sponges I just cut it into six pieces you just dab it in the ink and then just go around the edges here and it will just give a little bit of colour all the way around so that when it's against the white you see a little difference um, just um, pops out a little bit more. There we go. So finally, dimensionals on the back of this one. Where did they go? Oh my gosh, two seconds, I look away and then I'm sure I have little gremlins coming in, taking my dimensionals. Here we go. Two on the back. And then I popped it, you can choose, you could have it down here really, but I just quite liked it because it almost looked like it was hanging from the, um, the little window ledge here, like a little sign. So there you have it, the window flower box dies, um, Mother's Day slash birthday card. I hope you enjoyed making it. Take care. See you soon. Bye.